Hey, all y'all kooks and jabronis out there. I'm gonna do a quick video to show you the long-term results of using the Float Life's HD Clear Crystal Sidekicks. Now, I've had these on pretty much as soon as they were released. I thought it was a great idea, a way that I can have my nice, pretty ruby red metallic wraps, but also have some protection because the wraps just didn't last very long. They get scratched up, and especially once they got scratched up, they're really difficult to remove. So picking off an old beat up wrap is a long and annoying process. So I was hoping this would preserve it for a while. So there's some pluses and minuses to this whole technique, this process, and I'm gonna go over that with you. I think you may have seen, I don't know if I posted a video before of when I put them on, and it looks pretty good. But here, take a look at this. Now, these have been through hell. I mean, these have really been tortured. Rolling over razor sharp coral rocks, rolling over corrugated metal, scratching it. These got torn up when I was doing that fakey bonk to tail slide over like a culvert sort of thing. It, it had a metal thing. And when I didn't land it, it would end up um, hitting the rails pretty damn hard. And uh, there's just definitely no fault of the sidekicks that I tore a chunk out of the aluminum there. Uh, but you can kind of see here, if you're going to put stickers underneath the HD Clear sidekicks, you're going to end up with a little bit of bubbles just because there's a height differential between your wrap and the sticker that goes atop the wrap. So, but after what, what this has been through, it looks pretty good. This is the longest I've ever had a wrap last for me. Um, now, what I would probably do differently next time is I would leave the wrap on the top, but not put the sidekicks on because they started to catch. You can see it here. It, it kind of peels up a little bit and you just don't really need it. You don't, you don't really need protection on the top. The sidekicks come with the pieces for the top. Uh, I wouldn't do it again. If I was going to do that, I would just leave them off. I think it would look, it would look better overall that way. So I started peeling off the sidekicks. And I was very pleasantly surprised to see that the the wrap tended to come with it. Now, normally, I'm sitting there with my fingernail for like half an hour just picking away at this damn thing to get it off or using a hair dryer or whatever. But it actually, the adhesive on the sidekick, I guess, is strong enough that it stuck really well to the wrap. So it was pretty much peeling off right along with it. Now, I'm going to teach you a couple of advanced techniques for sticker removal. This works for any type of sticker. It's just going to make your life so much easier. Uh... I've never seen this anywhere, so I'm assuming you guys don't know it, and you're going to love me for this. So even if it was a regular sticker, not to do with side or whatever, you don't pull, most people want to grab it from one end and pull it this way. That puts the most possible bend on the material. That's the worst thing you want to do. The best thing you want to do is have the material bend the least amount. So how do you do that? Instead of turning it and pulling it straight this way, you're actually going to try to pull it as much this way as possible. So you, you pill it up like this. And so when I get, it's already a little bit loose here, you can tell because I already pulled it up, but I'm going to pull it up just kind of gently. I'm kind of pulling this way a little bit, kind of at an angle rather than bending the material really hard. That's going to generally leave less material. And so you do it gently and kind of pick it up, make sure it's coming. If it starts to not come along, then you got to, you come back, get that edge and try to get a run going. That's the law of attraction probably or something. I don't know the physics behind it, but when you've got material going, it likes to keep going in the same direction. So keep it going. Now, you're going to have problems, especially when you get to the edges, because no matter what you do, at some point, the sidekick's going to catch a little bit dirt on the edges or whatever. And now, normally when I try to take a wrap, I'll find it with a bunch of this. And this is just adhesive left over, and it's so hard to get off. But there's a secret to this. This is another really, really handy trick the adhesive that you have left on the other side, whether it's just a little bit of sticker left or whatever, like attracts like, you use that material to remove the other material. Sometimes you can just put it on and it'll just lift off. Is that it? I think that's actually damage to the rails from a coral rock. But here's some adhesive, it's definitely adhesive. Dab at it, dab at it, dab at it, dab, 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 dab. And if that doesn't do it, then you actually push it down on and you drag it, you kind of drag it along and it will pick up that adhesive. Much easier than trying to use adhesive remover 
or heating it or, you know, whatever. Just get in there, and sometimes I'll take them because I just twist it over top of that garbage that's on there, and I'll just twist it, and that adhesive comes right off. Oh, this is not adhesive. This is um, just probably concrete contact damage. But when you have actual adhesive, and I don't have much of it because it came off pretty clean here, it tends to come off if you rub that on there. So let's see how the other side goes. These rolls up pretty good. I'll clean it up a little bit. I'm not going to waste your time doing all the little detail work. And this one's already in pretty rough shape. So this will probably have to be hand-picked off, but I'm hoping I'll get lucky. I'll start from the other end. And like I said before, if you've got some material, as I come along this direction, this, if I get really, really lucky, most of that might come off. Now I have a problem here that I, I lost a piece of sidekick. So I kind of have to start fingernail method to get this started because I want that run going. I want some a constant tension of the material against itself coming along. So we got a little bit there. Oh, it's coming along pretty nice. And now we're hitting the sidekick, so that's good. Oh, look at that. There, it's coming right up. Oh, look at that. Oh, so good. Uh, I don't want to bend it too much. I want to keep it kind of like this. Keep that material intact, consistent. All those molecules lined up together and happy. Don't break up the family. There it goes. Ah, we lost a bit. So get in there. Oh, and, I, and, I, and I just realized why. It's because we have this top piece that was not coming along. There's no point in trying to keep the this part together. Let it just tear along the seam. So I'm going to take these off as best I can. Oh, lost a little bit there. Let's try to keep it going. Anyway, if I go through this whole process again, it's going to waste a lot of time. It's going to be a long video. That's pretty much it. Um, I was really happy with the HD clears. I actually like them. And it was great for doing the wrap. Now, th these predate the colored sidekicks that are already colored, where the color is behind the material on the back side of the clear plastic, so it can't get scratched from the outside. So my new technique, I tried it out, and I like it, and that's why I'm removing these, is I'm going to do the red sidekicks that are already red, Unfortunately, they're not metallic, maybe someday, but then I put the stickers on top. Now, if I put them underneath, you wouldn't see them at all. If I put them on the top, they will get scratched, but when they get scratched, I'll peel them off, put a fresh one on. If I refresh those every once in a while, then my reels, I think, are going to look better for longer, even than this setup, but we'll see. I'll do, maybe do a long-term test on those at some point in the future. Hopefully, this helps you guys out and let you know. Definitely, I got to give this product a thumbs up. It worked great. Worked good for a long time. Uh, this, these were really, really abused. And the material is still okay. Just some pieces got cut off from really, really sharp, hitting sharp things. But as you can see, let's look at the other side. Let me switch face there. Those rails look good. And this is my very first XR named Bonky Kong, and been a very loyal steed, been a great board, and after all the abuse it's been through, about 1,100 miles of hard trick riding, rails still look good. Hope this helps you guys out, and float on, jabronis.